Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I'm going to attempt to take this 1976 Volkswagen Golf from Shabby to Shiny. I believe you guys in the US, do you all call it the Volkswagen Rabbit? Um, I'm interested to know. I'm sure I've, I've heard people calling it the Rabbit in movies, so um, yeah, let me know. We start out by taking out the rivet, we drill down the centre of the post, remove the flange, and tap that hole. Of course, remember to use your lube, you don't want to snap your piece in the hole. Using my very handy vice, certainly a recommendation for anybody doing this. So as you can see the wheels are a little bit off here, it's not driving straight, it's not my driving honestly. But a nice little car. Not a massive fan of the orange uh, windscreen and I've got a few of these. Um, but anyway underneath it reads the Matchbox Superfast number 7 Volkswagen Golf made in England 1976 Leslie Products and Co. So you see, I have pre-drilled the hole, and there is proof. I use lube before I put my piece in there. You can see it shiny around the ring. But some nice detail on this car. Obviously, this car originally came with a roof rack, which I believe housed some surfboards. And to get those surfboards is a nightmare, so they shan't be staying. There's the base. There, the wheels here, the axles are clipped into place, so I need to drill those out because this will be getting a wheel swap, similar to some of the uh, wheels that you've seen on my recent uh, customs. I really like these wheels. Uh, this is the fourth car, so you've got the MR2 that I did a couple of days ago. Previous to that, well, this was about a week or so ago, the Volvo. And then the middle video there, the Capri. Beautiful wheels, I think they suit a lot of cars from this era, you know, 70s and 80s. You can't really go wrong with them, to be honest, in my opinion. Uh, but they're going to go on this car today. After this, I've got one more set, so you'll see one more car being done. But, um, yeah, so this Golf's got some nice details on the front there, single headlight. And then you've got, obviously, the rear lights poking through and a tow hook, which is going to be gone on this car. I don't want a tow hook on my little Volkswagen Golf but I like the interior it's short and sweet and simple it's yellow but you know through the orange glass right just had to shut the dog up so back to the narration so we've got orange glass on this car I'm not a massive fan of you know the color glasses but actually looking at the final product is pretty cool so I don't really mind on this one. But I do need to figure out how to remove, uh, obviously, these racks. Because, like I say, I'm not going to be keeping them. And it is pretty easy. I've already kind of pre-pushed three of these out. And it's basically kind of like melted through the hole. And as easy as that, you just push it through and off it comes. Now I'm going to keep this because actually it's in good condition. And looking at some of my other cars, they are broken. So, you know, you never know. I may create the, the surfboards on one of the other cars. But I need to fill these holes in. But before I do, I go with my caustic soda method. Couple of teaspoons there. And after a few minutes... Out she pops. And I don't think there is a single piece of paint remaining. Um, it's hard to beat that stuff. It's dangerous, but you know, for me, time-wise, it's hard to beat. But um, what I did <laughs> notice uh, after I'd done that is I didn't do the same with the uh, base there. But you know, I'm just going to give it a little, little light rub, and I'm going to go over it with this uh, paint shortly, anyway. But 
so here's the casting after going over it with my real Dremel uh, wheel, what's it called? The uh, wire wheel thingy bob on my fake Dremel. And it come up pretty good, didn't it? Now I'm going to go with a bit of masking tape, put it underneath these holes. And I'm going to go with a bit of filler into the holes. And of course, if this was a real car, they would need to be welded up. But for this, you know, a little bit of filler will be uh, just fine. But you can see those back holes there, just, just raised a little bit. Don't tell the wife. I uh, I borrowed the nail um, file there. but And then kind of all four taken down nice and smooth. And then with the little bit of uh, tape on the underside and the filler on the top, and I've kind of put that to one side to dry. So whilst that is drying, I'm going to take this um, this spray paint and just give the base a bit of a blast. Like I say, it was actually in pretty good condition already, so I didn't really feel the the need to take it all the way back down and then bring it all the way back up again. Just put a little light single coat over the whole lot. Looks good as new. Get the plastics into some warm soggy water. Giving it a good stir. And then a minute or so later, see this uh, tow hook, knowing that I'm going to have to chop that right off. And there she goes. I'll clean that up with uh, with the wife's now now filed again. But yeah, as a reminder, please don't tell her. She's an aggressive woman. And then we'll just pop the window section there in the pledge solution as usual. But now that the uh, filler is dried, I'll give it a good kind of sanding down. And it is, well, perfect, right? So let's go to the uh, light grey Tamiya Fine Primer. I always try and start from the inside of the car. And then start going down the seals, trying to grab from each corner uh, the underside of the wheel arches, then all four sides. Beautiful. Just a single coat, just enough so that it uh, gives it plenty enough for the paint to obviously um, hit. You can, I must admit, see a slight indentation of where the holes were, but you, know, you really have to look at it from the right angle, to be honest, so I'm quite happy. And to be honest, I really liked the finish of that base. And I, was, I went to the um, community tab and overwhelmingly people uh, suggested to paint this in black. There were some weird and wonderful suggestions and I thank you for all of them. Um, but yeah, at least half of the comments wanted black, you know, with the kind of GTI uh, front grille. So, you know, I, I give I give what the people want, right? To be honest, I wanted black too. So I'm glad that you were, that you were, well, you, you also thought that it needed to be black. So you, you can just about see there the, the slight indents uh, on the roof but honestly it's uh, it's good but so you can see now on the base I went with the kind of you know the rear lights the front lights and probably more most importantly the red ring around the outside which I've done with a toothpick uh, everything there as we know nice and clean and shiny the wheels that we're gonna put on and then I'm gonna you know not show you the body yet but I'm just gonna you know, show you a little reminder of what she looked like and the result shiny shiny I think those wheels suit it perfectly look at that detail in the rear lights and the rear number plate obviously the tow hook there cut off the wheels with a little bit of poke I think the orange window suits this black looks cool and then you know the the, the front grille just makes it for me that is the kind of icing on the cake so I'll take this opportunity to thank my Patreons who have really helped out with some basically the cost for some supplies this month. 
and then thank you guys for watching hopefully you'll stick around for the next one